So, I suppose you're wanting to know exactly the meaning of this. Well, if you want to know one thing, you're lucky to be alive. Well, I suppose if it gives you comfort, if you weren't potentially valuable to me, you would already be dead. So, don't get any funny ideas in trying to escape. Now that's out the way. I suppose I better tell you what the point of this all is. I noticed you are newly graduated from Sarudaha. Congratulations. But things are about to get really difficult, especially for you, and especially if you decide to cross me at any time, but you won't do that, because you're not that stupid, are you? Okay. Well, you've done well in being silent so far. You do well to keep that up. Well, I explain to you a few things. So, you may be familiar with an assassin, Aiko. <laughs> I thought so. Well, Aiko, as you probably know, is the number one ranked assassin. Anyway, the number one ranked assassin in the Kino Kiba. I, although it pains me to admit it, am ranked number two. So, you can probably guess where this is going. Well, you see, Aiko does not deserve to be ranked number one. I'm not just saying that disgusting little rat. She should not have even made it into the Kino Keeper. She is favoured deeply. So, obviously she has wormed her way in and taken the top spot. Whereas I have worked my whole life to get so, you are going to help me, aren't you? Good. Now, you will need to train with me because, sadly, Aiko is a formidable opponent. So, to beat the best, you have to train with the best. Meaning me. No, these are just training knives, but trust me, when it comes down to it, we will be using the real thing. And if you die, you die. And you didn't ever deserve to be here in the first place. So, if you want to earn your spot here, you are going to have to do everything I say. Don't even think for yourself. If you want to make it through this, you have to help me. <sighs> now, I have a few ideas of how to get rid of Aiko. But we must be quiet. Aiko has allies in the Kino Kiba, so you have to be careful who you talk to. So to make it easier, only report to me and me alone. Do not talk to anybody else. Even if they tell you they know what we're doing, say 
nothing. Don't even let on that you've been talking to me. Okay. We could get in big trouble if we are seen to be plotting against Asahi's favourite daughter. So, you have to swear If you want to stay alive, good. I bet. I bet you secretly liked her, didn't you? She has a way with people. I promise I am not as awful as you might have been told. Aside from that, she does not deserve to be here. I have worked my whole life for this, so it's the right thing to do. <sighs> We're gonna have to tread lightly. Hmm. <laughs> well, so far you've not resisted at all, so I think I chose correct in recruiting you. There may be others. We shall see. There are a few things I will need from you before we get started with training. Aiko has a favourite weapon. One that will help her in battle. Although she is powerful without her weapons, it will certainly advantage us if we were to... if we were to destroy her favourite weapon. The first thing I'm going to need you to do, and this will tell me your true allegiance to me, the first thing I will need you to do is steal it from her, so we can destroy it. Now, this won't be easy because I go sleeps with her eyes open, so you never truly know if she's awake or not, but we will have to try and steal it when she is away from her room. So, the best thing to do is, when she is training, I need you to sneak in and take it. So that we don't draw suspicion to ourselves. We must wait a day or so before we strike. We want it to look like an unfortunate coincidence. Also, we will need to provoke her. Not hard to do, since she is easily provoked. <laughs> A sign of weakness. See me, I am rarely provoked. Because to be provoked, that means you must resist the fight, whereas I relish it. This is what you must do. I think we should work quickly in stealing her weapon and destroying it. Then we can meet back here and resume our plans. Hmm. You will need some training, of course. But we don't want to kill her right away. We just want to provoke her and scare her. To provoke her, we will need to be smart. We don't want it to look like we planned this. You see, 
in making her angry, we could potentially get her kicked out, thrown onto the street like a dog. I think that would be the best move to start with. If you have anything to say, say it now. Well, that's just something you're going to have to deal with on your own. But I will do everything I can to make sure that we're successful. I hope that you understand the importance of this. You see, in siding with me, you have already guaranteed your way to move up the ranks because with me guiding you you will progress faster so keep that in mind I know that's what you want isn't it you want to progress up the ranks you will not reach my rank We can certainly help you on your way. Now I need you to tell me everything you know about the people in your room. Because if you are going to be staying there, they can't know anything, okay? They can't know a thing. So, you need to tell me about them, just in case. I need to use it against them, naturally. So, tell me about them. What are their weaknesses? Hmm. Rather pathetic to be afraid of that. I have no idea how they made it here. But go on. Do tell me something else that I might use. Hmm. Let me see. I think they might be able to come in useful. After all, but we cannot tell them exactly what we're doing. No. We have to be very deceptive, which, lucky for you, is one of my top skills. No, I don't suppose they would have any skills that are as valuable as that have to do. You need to tell me your skills that you already possess, so we may strengthen them. Hmm, I see. Not exactly what I had in mind for you, but we can make it work. And that is one thing that I require though, which I forgot to mention. Now, this might hurt a bit, but this is what it takes to gain my trust. You have to let me go. Now, appearances can get in the way of your true goal, you see. You are to truly not care about yourself. You will let me do it. Good. I'm not going to cut all of your hair. Just so. 
Um, this way you will be able to see your opponents easier. So, that's that then. You are free to go for now, but don't think that I can't kidnap you again. Nobody will even know that you're gone. There's so many of us in this hellhole. Right. Okay then. Go. And I'll catch up with you later.